it's gonna be quick makeup, yeah? Speedy. I don't know how I want to start this so I'm just going to start it. Today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial. Basically I have half an hour. I wanted to have longer but time got away from me you know. So we just go get right into this. This is one of the first times I'm filming myself putting on makeup so I'm really excited to do this. I have a monitor set up over there which is why I keep looking over there and I have a mirror here so if you see me looking either way I'm just looking at myself <laughs> so to start off with I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty true matte pro filter matte fine primer I use two pumps I rub it together like this um my hair is fresh by the way I literally finished it right now it's four o'clock and I finished my hair at approximately 4 a.m. 12 hours ago. <laughs> so my hair is as fresh as it gets. And um, I'm loving it. Not the sprays. You can see the parties are crisp, which I'm very much enjoying. I'm pretty sure I have the wrong shade foundation in my Fenty one, but I'm just gonna have to use it because this is what I have from Fenty and I want to use this foundation so this is 390 in the pro filter soft matte long wear foundation that's the other word I am very aware that this is the wrong color okay I know this is the wrong color but I'll make it work so usually I don't you put like two sprays on my face just two sprays two pumps on my face and then I blend it out over my cheeks first so that they, this area gets the most coverage. My forehead is usually where I hit last, even though right now my forehead actually needs quite a lot of help. Um, I've just had some skin issues, especially with my forehead. So I hope the lighting's good. This again is one of my first makeup videos so um <laughs> when i'm looking in the one of that i look hella orange and i really hope that it's not translating like that but it's fine it's fine um <laughs> this is the um, anastasia beverly hills cool earth stick foundation it's quite dark start off doing it on my cheeks and then for the forehead I, kept, I like to keep it quite like at the edges of my forehead the way that my face shape is set up and I, oh that is not what I usually do okay my forehead's kind of square let's say so I want to make sure that I like bring in the edges and kind of thin it a little bit but I start with my nose first so I'm just gonna this is actually harder than I thought to get like everything in the shot but I take this Raw Techniques expert face brush this is and I just basically tap 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 when it comes to my nose I don't have to do too much just a little bit and sometimes I do concealer first it really depends on the day now my edges are not my edges are kind of laid because my hair is so fresh. As I said, I did it this morning. So my, my hair is kind of laid a bit. And I really like this colour because it's, as it says on the tin, it's cool. So it contours my face quite nicely. For the cheeks, I like to like push it upwards. I try not to bring it down like pretty much at all. Very minimally. And then I go back over with my foundation brush and I just make sure that everything's blended. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in 360. I'm just gonna apply that under my eyes, around the nose, like so. 
I just had some issues with my setup so I had to reset up the camera I put my concealer on and I've had it sitting on my face for a little bit now it's been like three minutes so I do like to set it down nine times out of ten like let it dry just so that it builds up the coverage I think that this is sponsored and it can be if you want it to I'm joking I'm actually not joking but I take this is a real technique setting brush and I use that to blend out the concealer. In total, I could probably get this face done in like 15, 20 minutes, depending on the day. The Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in Cashew. Now I'm gonna go into the setting powder, put a little bit more on the brush, and start a little bit lower. Add it on my eyelids, brows, to my chin, and then underneath as well. Kind of neutralizing the foundation a little bit. It doesn't look as orange as it did initially. I think it looks better now. I know there's like this massive shadow under my chin, but I feel like it makes me look skinnier than I actually am. So this is the Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer in Medium. This is actually a fake Real Techniques brush, but it works really well. It's supposed to be like a blush brush, which I've always wanted to get and I just never got it. But I like quite a big brush for my bronzer. And I just go up and down the sides of my nose. We're gonna do the sleek blush in Life's a Peach. Again, I'm not gonna lie, this is a fake Japanese. I think it's called Japanese. No, NARS. This is a fake NARS brush. I'm not gonna lie. I really like blush. Like, I really like blush. So. On camera this is looking a bit mad but in real life it looks good for highlights i'm gonna use bobby brown highlighting powder in bronze glow i definitely want to do a video in the future about blush and highlighter because i feel like i used to do it so differently i think that it's a massive way to change the way that your face looks in terms of the shape so for brows i like to use the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade in granite 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 oh no i'm gonna have to do this off camera What I mean, right? And I blend the front. Look at that, I really just struggled. Take my concealer brush to clean up. Now you'd be surprised what a little bit left over concealer can do for the brows. There's no point in me even showing this. It's the NYX Urban Cafe Glide On lip liner, I think. Little mascara in bang. I just put that. I just put that in like just the center of my lips. So for lashes, I got these on AliExpress. I'll have to link them for you guys. But the lash glue I'm using is the Duo Brush On Adhesive with Vitamins. Never read that bit before. Looks like I got some vitamins on my eyelashes. I don't know why it's been so hard for me to put my lashes on, but. I'm gonna be honest, this is taking me like 15 minutes to get my eyelashes on. This is happening. I'm lactose intolerant. This list is gonna be curated like she's hand picking. Um, so I have one that kind of relates to blind spots. Ooh, just do some face shots because the face is looking neat, baby. I look good, you know I look good. <laughs> hey, come on. I'm so happy with how this came out. My hands dry. Oh my god, no, my hands are dry. <laughs> No, don't you dare. Usually, I don't like middle parts, but today is him. Okay, finally done. I hope you enjoyed. This is my first makeup videos. There will be more coming very, very soon. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, please. Like, I would love to hear from 
anybody who's watching this let me know what i go on and we can sort something out i need like a little outro a little cute something something I don't know. I can't think right now, but I'll think of one and in the next video, in the next few videos, I'll use it at the end of the video. Comment, like, rate, subscribe, hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.